Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the oven light rocker switch on your oven. The reason why you might have to do this is because the switch is no longer functioning properly. For this repair, we'll be using a quarter inch nut driver and a flathead screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the oven we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Frigidaire, and keep in mind ours might look a little bit different than what you've got at home, but the same technique should still apply. Just make sure you turn your gas off. So what we've got to do is turn our range around. So now we have to take this back panel off. In order to do that, we've got six screws that are holding it in, one on each corner, and then in the middle on the top and bottom. And now that we've got all of those unscrewed, we're just going to pull the panel up so that the tab comes out of there and we can set it off to the side. So now for our oven light rocker switch here, we've got to unplug two of the wires that are going into it. Now it'll just pull straight out. Or if you're having trouble, because of the angle that it's at, you can use a flathead screwdriver and just pop them out like that. Now on the switch itself, you got the tabs that are holding it in. So I'm just gonna use my flathead screwdriver and I'll pop that one side up like that. And then I should be able to just pop the switch out. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement rocker switch. And if you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So to put our rocker switch in, all we have to do is slide it into that hole push it down and it clips in and now we'll plug it back in and just make sure it's secure there once it's secure put everything back together so now I'm going to put our back panel back on and what I'm going to do is with the middle segmented panel right here that's going to go behind everything and then that rests on top there and then I'll line up our screw holes and once the screw holes are all lined up you can start screwing it back in And now we can turn our stove back around, plug everything back in, and our repair is complete. Now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcapplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.